Okay, cool. Now the first thing that we're gonna do, since we have to squeeze this guy, right? Squeeze that quotient. The first thing that we're gonna do is um, show that two to the n, right? Two to the n, it's equal to first one plus one to the n power, right? And then using the binomial expansion formula or the binomial theorem, we can write one plus one to the n as uh, n to zero, and then uh, one to the n times one to the zero. Okay, won't bother writing uh, plus n choose 1, 1 to the n minus 1, and then 1 to the 1, you get it, won't bother writing, uh, plus n choose 2, I won't explain anymore about the ones, and then plus n choose 3, and then plus more terms, right? So plus dot dot dot, again dot 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 does not mean goes on forever here, just saying that there are more terms, so dot dot dot, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, n to zero is, and this again is equal to two to the n. Uh, n to zero is one, so we see that two to the n is equal to one plus, this one is for n to zero. This guy here we've already worked with an example for, so it's just gonna be n uh, plus. This guy also we worked with an example for, and it's gonna be n times uh, n minus one over two factorial, and then plus, this guy here is going to be n times n minus 1 times n minus 2 uh, all over 3 factorial. And of course, more terms. So plus uh, dot 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 <laughs> dot. Okay, dot. Yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, uh, what I want to do, uh, since again I want to squeeze this guy, is write the following, which should be immediate after seeing this which is that uh, n times uh, n minus 1 times uh, n minus 2 over 3 factorial is less than, it's less than 2 to the n. Okay, uh, yeah, because <laughs> 2 to the n is all these guys, right, and more, and uh, this guy on the left is just this term, right? So that should be true based on what I've showed about 2 to the n, yeah? Okay, cool, cool, cool. Now, uh, 2 to the n is downstairs here, so we want to get 2 to the n downstairs on that part. So the way we do that is take the reciprocal of both sides of this. And if we do, we get 1 over 2 to the n is less than, it's less than 3 factorial divided by uh, n times n minus 1 times n minus 2, right? Okay. And then next, because we want an n squared on top of 2 to the n, I'm going to multiply both sides of this by n squared. So that amounts to writing an n squared here, right? And then uh, writing an n squared here. And also we should note, oh, slide. Also, also we should note that uh, 0 is less than this quotient, right? Okay. And guess where I'm going to go with this? I'm going to say limit as n goes to infinity on all three parts here. So when I do, uh, first I write lim is n goes to infinity. Uh, you should be able to see the end here, right? Of zero is less than lim is n goes to infinity of uh, n squared over two to the n, which in turn is less than lim is n goes to infinity of three factorial n squared all over n times n minus 1 times n minus 2. Ah. Right? Okay. Cool. I don't like that. Sorry guys. <laughs> Sorry for being annoying. n minus 2. Right? Okay. Cool. Uh, well, this is 0. So 0 is less than our desired limit which is less than, well clearly we have an n squared on top here, but the denominator will have an n cubed, so the denominator will dominate the numerator. And therefore as n goes to infinity, this quotient is gonna to go to zero. And therefore, we conclude that this here is equal to zero. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, uh, now I'm gonna uh, take a break from the squeeze theorem uh, because example seven is going to be showing that the limit is n goes to infinity of one plus one over n all to the nth power is e, a very famous limit. 
And so before I do that, I'm going to show you the traditional, typical uh, proof of that limit as being E. So I'll do that video first, the traditional proof, and then I'll do example seven where we do the limit of E using the squeeze theorem. Yeah? Okay, cool. All right. I hope you enjoyed this and take care.